do you ever just get in the mood to watch a Frederick March movie? <laughs> well, that's what happened to me, and that's why I watched tonight's film. In fact, that's usually why I'll watch certain movies. I'll just get in the mood to watch a specific actor or actress. But uh, <laughs> tonight's film review is of Death Takes a Holiday, and it came out in 1934, and of course it stars the great, great Frederick March, who's, to me, Frederick March... I would put him in maybe like top five greatest actors of all time. I think he goes way under the radar. But anyway, I digress. Frederick March, Evelyn Venable, I believe is how you say, say her name. She's the love interest in the story. Kent Taylor, he's sort of like the macho guy. Um, and I know Henry Travers because Henry Travers was in so many classic films most people would recognize him from oh, It's a Wonderful Life. I don't know why I couldn't remember that for a second. But um, he's in this. Uh, and this film was made by Paramount. It is a romance drama, I would say. And it came out in 1934, which is just three years after Frederick March's great uh, portrayal of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. This story, Death Takes a Holiday, was a originally a, a I believe, a play uh, written by uh, an Italian author, and you can totally tell from watching this movie that it's a play because essentially the whole movie takes place in one spot. Um, and the the catch line for this movie was, "He lived for three days, but and loved forever." <laughs> so so romantic but anyway interestingly enough apparently Claudette Colbert was originally supposed to play Marcia who is which was the character played by Evelyn Venable but um and I read also that um that Catherine Hepburn was fired from from this movie but uh, I couldn't find any other sources to back that up I looked in my book and I read actually that Catherine Hepburn was uh she was in the play she was in a traveling play in about 19 in the 1920s for this uh but I didn't read anything about her actually being about to be in the, the movie with Frederick March anyway the plot of the story is very simple it's it takes place i believe in italy or i would assume it takes place in italy and the opening scene is one of my favorites of the whole movie there's like a speeding chase and they they're they're racing and they see this dark mass behind them and they're it's kind of spooky and they're like what is this what's this black mass that's stalking us and it ends up being frederick march as as death and uh eventually we get to a an italian villa and it's beautiful it's a beautiful set and it takes place at night and i i was thinking man is this a horror film because it was really spooky because uh marcia she she is touched by a dark mass in the gardens and she's freaking everybody out because she's she's panicking about it and i just thought the opening it was my favorite part of the movie because then we eventually see death death comes and he's in his typical black cloak completely covered and i thought the special effects used on march's costume were just awesome because there there were parts where it looks like you could see right through him and it was so cool and March, of course, is just, he's, his acting is just top notch. The way he delivers his lines in this movie as death is just, it's, it's perfect. So death explains that he wants to live as a human does for three days. He wants to see why humans fear him so much and why they want to be on earth so much. So it's, it's a very, fairly simple plot. He uh, he acts as Prince Serky to not scare everyone so they don't know he's death. So he acts like he's human and 
he has a very thick accent which he was <laughs> he was really good at doing his accent in this movie uh, very entertaining to watch and he's just learning what it means to be human and of course there's funny scenes where he's flirting with several different women and I, I would say that Frederick March was a little bit of a player because he had like three girls he was hitting on and there's you know cute little scenes where he learns what what wine tastes like things like that I don't really have to go too far in depth on on the plot of this movie um, I will just stress emphasize how Frederick March was just he basically made this movie so I have to say that I only give this movie a two out of four stars and that's not a very high rating and the reason is because I thought the cast surrounding March was sort of weak in fact March carried this on his back I, I didn't think the cast was very good the story was very clever and the setting was beautiful but overall I think the movie itself is very forgettable and I probably will never see it again but if you're a big Frederick March fan definitely watch it but I only give it two out of four stars um it was a box office disappointment for Paramount although it was well received by critics especially March's performance and interestingly enough Paramount sold the rights to of the story to Universal later and we got a different ad adaptation of this story in Meet Joe Black and I'm a big fan of Meet Joe Black it's a great great movie so highly recommend watching Meet Joe Black too if you like the story itself um, and I know how I said that there was a scene where March learns how to or learns the taste of wine and how wonderful it is well there's a scene in Meet Joe Black where I believe he learns the taste of peanut butter and he just loves peanut butter so interesting parallels I have some pictures from the film the photography was beautiful in this movie, really. Especially the night scenes. Like right there is Marcia. She was beautiful. But that'll be it for this review guys um sad that it wasn't that good didn't live up to my expectations but we can't love them all <laughs> anyway i'll probably bring some more frederick march march reviews for you in the future but until next time guys take care